Hey YouTube, happy Tuesday. I hope you all had a great Memorial Day weekend. It's been a while since my last video and I finally got around to one that I've wanted to record for quite a long time. Today I will be showing you how I use my TI-84 Plus graphing calculator along with the TI Calculator Based Laboratory 2 in order to measure several different physical properties that are particularly important for sleep quality. But anyway, the point of this video isn't just for that. It's to show you how you can use your TI-84 Plus graphing calculator along with the uh, TI Calculator Based Laboratory 2 as a very simple, inexpensive, reliable data acquisition system. I'm not quite showing you this. <laughs> My cat's very excited about this video. I'm not quite showing you the CBL2 right now. Let me turn the calculator uh, quit and then turn the calculator off. Uh, okay, so I'll do second off. Let's turn the calculator off and just see the CBL2. Okay, so this calculator is lodged on this track. I'll disconnect the cable and go ahead. Oh, yeah, so it's disconnected. And then disconnect the cable there. And then get this, uh, this backpack off. You can see that is the CBL2. Okay, hopefully we'll get that in focus. There we go. Now it's in focus. You don't use the CBL2 by itself. What it does is it will install a program called Datamate in really I think just one click to a TI-83 um, Plus or TI-84 Plus graphing calculator which you can then use to um, acquire and visualize data. So on top there's a transfer quick start, uh, setup and then start stop button. A little foot on the back side of it here and as we'll see in a second, this thing needs uh, four AA batteries to run. Very, very easy. Okay, so I'll get that flip back. Um, you can plug in up to um, three different sensors. They're on the side. Yeah, hopefully we get that in focus. Yeah, channels one, two, and three, all in green. And what I have attached are two default sensors that come in this package. They're pretty cheap. You can get these for $20 or $30 on eBay. Anyway, the two default sensors are light. It should say it on the cable somewhere. Anyway, there's your light sensor right there. Yep, there we go. Got it focused on there. Yeah, it says light on it. And then temperature, that's our temperature sensor. And a final one I got is uh, relative humidity. And again, just to go to what I said in the beginning of the video, I, there's scientific studies that show that 68 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit, or maybe 68 to 72 degrees Fahrenheit, and 40 to 60 percent humidity are ideal for uh, sleep in humans. And since, you know, using my air conditioning and fan more, I have found that I sleep far, far better than before. So anyway, what I'm hoping to do with this is, is measure, you know, temperature, humidity, and light, and then, you know, take notes about my sleep quality, number of hours, how restful the sleep was, and do a little bit of an experiment. Okay. Okay, so there's a... Um, I'm going to reattach the calculator here. There's a cradle release that I guess I just had um, I had just touched before. Yeah, it doesn't come off. Yeah, it comes off um, even without that. But you know, definitely you want to press the cradle release and let that click in. Okay, and I might connect this cable down to the bottom of the CBL2 right here. Oh, this can also take a power adapter, um, a six volt adapter. Let me zoom in on that. So you don't necessarily, you know, have to uh, run this off batteries. 
Okay, so anyway, let's go back to the uh, program in order for, to collect the data. I'll zoom in to the screen here. Get that really focused in. Okay. And when I go to apps, five is data mate. And now we're connected to the CBL and you should be able to see that the relative humidity in this room right now is 52%. I think it was relative humidity in the scientific study I told you about. The temperature in real time is 77 degrees Fahrenheit. You could also change to Celsius. And I guess relative light is 0 0.0148. I mean, I can try sticking this behind the LCD and Oh, interesting, it's actually going down. Or by, you know, a uh, nearby light and see if I can watch. Oh, yeah, see, that number's going up now that I'm pointed towards a night light on the other side of my room. Anyway, so this is a really nice tool. Uh, it will save data, and you can analyze it further. Let's see if I can take a look at the data as a graph. I should be able to get this to work. But anyway, it, uh, you can adjust the, the time granularity you know, how many seconds between readings, and also acquire and save data into uh, Flash, I believe, on the CBL itself. Let's press three there. Yeah, let's do channel two versus channel, or let's just do channel uh, one. Okay, so let's take a look at seconds there. Okay, so it's just showing over 600 seconds that the relative okay I thought that was higher uh, this might be prior data um, so I don't think that reflects what we're seeing now okay uh, main screen yeah it's a little bit odd when you know the relative humidity percentage is 52% that was showing 50.5 to 49. So I might need to see if that's old data. Yeah, okay, so that I think that was old data that was, was collected. Since I think you have to press start in order to um, acquire data to then graph later. But anyway, this is really inexpensive. I think it was probably $50 between the CBL and the relative humidity sensor. And I, you know, again, plan to collect data with this up until I build my own Arduino or ESP32 based temperature, temperature, uh, humidity and light uh, Wi-Fi based sensor that wouldn't be on the internet, but, you know, just on a local LAN transmitting data to a computer to then analyze over time again see how those values change depending on days depending on time of day and depending on seasons and then you know take sleep notes and, and compare it i know i've you know slept a lot better with with uh lower but you know not too low humidity Anyway, if you have some creative uses for a CBL or CBL2 or other thoughts about how to use this, please leave those down in the comments. Comments, uh, please leave those in the comments down below. And like and subscribe as always. I'll hope to get some more content here pretty soon. Thanks everyone for watching.